Canadian police now say the man who shot and killed a three-year-old girl while she was sleeping was not supposed to have a gun. They say Marlon Pritchard is a convicted felon. He told police he slept with a loaded shotgun under his pillow because people were threatening him. Nicole Ford has an exclusive interview with the little girl's family. She's live to explain why the girl's mother doesn't believe his story. Nicole. Ken and Christine, that man, Marlon Pritchard, is behind bars tonight, and he was one of Chastity Clancy's, so that three-year-old's babysitters. Now, her mom tells me that she trusted Pritchard and his wife with her life and her children's life, and she just doesn't know how this all happened. Chastity loved everybody, and once she, she knew your name, that was it. Chastity will call you all day, every day. A three-year-old little girl with a personality that could fill a room. We look for Ch Ch Chastity to come in with fuzzy socks, uh, beads and, and braids and everything like that. Ch Chastity was a baby. Police say Chastity was shot and killed at her babysitter's home Sunday morning in Belts Hoover. Marlon Pritchard, who is now charged with homicide, told police the gun was under his pillow because he believed people were after him. He then said a bang woke him up to find Chastity dead in the bed from a gunshot. I spoke to Chastity's mother off camera, who says she trusted Pritchard and his wife with her children, but she doesn't agree with the account Pritchard gave police. She does not believe Chastity's death was an accident. It has been such a, tra a traumatic time. It has been such an emotional time. Police tell me they are still investigating the homicide. Meanwhile, the entire family is leaning on each other to remember their time they did have with Chastity. She was the baby that we wanted to see grow up and be the little woman in the big body that she was becoming. Now, Chastity's mother was actually out of town when this shooting took place, so they haven't had a chance to make the funeral arrangements, but they tell me they want to have a celebration as big as her personality. We're live at the Allegheny County Jail. Nicole Ford, KDK News.